until 2005, when the successor to the famous V6 2.5 TDI was introduced, VW used pump injector injection technology. The 2.5 TDI was equipped with the classic direct injection with a VP44 radial pump until the very end of its career. The engine has earned a reputation for being unreliable. A new generation of six-cylinder turbo diesel with a displacement of 3.0 liters went into production in 2005. Like the V6 2.5 TDI, the newcomer retained the cylinder camber angle of 90 degrees. From the 3.0 TDI they also received a large 4-liter 8-cylinder engine, but with a different camber angle. About a year later, Audi offered a downsized version of the 3-liter V6 with a capacity of 2.7 liters. It has the same 83 mm bore, but the stroke has been reduced from 91.4 mm to 83.1 mm, otherwise, the design and technology remain the same. From January 2011, Audi began offering an updated version of the six-cylinder engine. The changes were associated with the transition to the more stringent Euro 5 standard. Some believe that the Ingoldstadt manufacturer was a little late with the new engine. Be that as it may, the newly minted V6 from the very beginning to the end of production used advanced, and most importantly, very precise piezoelectric common rail fuel injectors from Bosch. When they work, everything is great. But over time they fail, and replacement turns out to be very expensive. And there are six of them in total. Although they do not die suddenly, experience shows that if one gives up, the rest will soon ask to be replaced. When the piezo injector fails, fuel consumption increases and the car starts to smoke, but there may not be an error message. To reduce the load on the gas distribution mechanism, Audi engineers placed the timing drive on the gearbox side. Looking at the four circuits, you have to be very optimistic to believe that they can work properly for years. I have good news for you. Now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet. We have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carme.pro. Here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car. You will learn all this on carme.pro. It is probably unlikely that you will find another world-famous engine manufacturer that would use such a dramatic solution for timing drive. Two chains operate directly from the crankshaft. One controls the oil pump and the balance shaft that runs through the engine between two rows of rollers. The other is with two auxiliary double sprockets, one for each row of cylinders. Next, the sprockets are connected to one of the camshafts of the corresponding cylinder head using a short chain. The second camshaft is connected to the first using gears. To complicate the design, on the opposite side of the engine, that is, at the front, there is a short toothed belt feeding the high-pressure fuel pump. In the first seconds after starting, the engine may make noise. The reason is a drop in oil pressure in the chain tensioners. As soon as the pump fills them with oil, the engine starts to run quietly. If the noise does not go away, then it is time to take care of the timing drive. As a rule, the need for this arises after 200 to 250,000 kilometers. But on the other hand, you must understand that your car was once very expensive. And if you don't spend this amount now, you'll need a lot more money later. One day the tensioners will no longer be able to tension the chains. And then the engine, which usually does not break down, will turn into a pile of scrap metal. Since January 2011, Audi has offered a second generation of six-cylinder diesel. The purpose of the update was the requirements of the Euro 5 standard. The changes led, among other things, to a reduction in engine weight, by about 8 kilograms. The weight of the timing drive was reduced by half. The new engine has only two circuits, one of which feeds the high-pressure fuel pump. Consequently, the short toothed belt at the front of the unit has disappeared. Improvements to the timing drive have reduced the length of the engine by 10 centimeters. But have the number of problems been reduced? Yes, but there is a nuance. 
The trouble is that instead of two short chains, one, but very long, was used. It connects two gears on the camshafts, and its installation is a lengthy operation. The second chain changes even longer, 27 hours according to the regulations. The total time required for replacement work has doubled. Therefore, if something happens, the replacement cost will not be cheaper than in engines with four chains. In addition to simplifying the timing drive system, which led not only to weight reduction but also to increased reliability, the manufacturer also changed the intake system. At first, six swirl flaps were used. The dampers were installed in one of the two intake ports of each cylinder. At low speeds, the flaps closed to provide swirl to the intake air. At higher speeds and when the engine started, they opened. The original solution can sometimes bother the owner. This is due to the appearance of carbon deposits, the electronics recognizes incorrect operation and displays an error message. Breakage of the valves and getting into the engine usually does not occur here. The dampers are electrically driven and, if necessary, can be replaced separately. The updated version 3.0 TDI, offered from January 2011, uses only two flaps instead of six, integrated into the intake manifold away from the engine. Each valve is designed for one row of cylinders. This solution has proven to be more reliable over the years. Perhaps only at the very beginning of production, the servo motor of the damper drive often failed, which was signaled by the onboard computer. Experience with operating these engines in various Audi models shows that their biggest weakness is the EGR system. The EGR may become coked, but this does not happen very often. More often you have to solve issues with the system radiator, cooler. It is located in the collapse of the block, has a square shape and one day is completely blocked by sediments. If the EGR becomes clogged, the engine goes into emergency mode, and this usually happens after 150,000 kilometers. Another problem that is less common nowadays is the loss of coolant due to the EGR radiator. As a rule, it all ended with a banal replacement of the radiator and seals. It's worse if the liquid gets into the particulate filter. Repairs will be much more expensive. Today, malfunctions of the electric drive of turbocharger blades, which operate at high temperatures, still occur. Although the diesel V6 has some problems, overall it is a reliable unit. If you are looking for an Audi A6 C7 or an Audi A4 B8 and are faced with a choice between the modest 4-cylinder 2.0 TDI and the 6-cylinder 3.0 TDI, then it is better to buy a car with a diesel V6. The 3-liter unit drives much better and is more in keeping with the character of the car. And the turbo diesel version that meets the Euro 5 emission standard is considered more reliable.